A big component of anthropology is hands-on field experience. So this site, Blend and Landing, was a mid-late uh, 19th century town. And they're excavating and they're finding glass, they're finding ceramics. I've got like half a horseshoe. We've also found pre-contact flakes of arrowheads, or what could be, and that's basically when pre-contact is before Europeans came. And I look at the connection my ancestors had, everything that came from the land. That was their pharmacy, it was their grocery store, I mean, they depended and were interconnected with every aspect of the ecosystem. We just live with this one-eyed approach and we're so focused on what's in front of us. But when, you know, you take that two-eyed approach or the, the holistic approach that I believe my ancestors lived with because they were connected to everything around them, then you're able to see the big picture. And when I'm walking through the forest and I see this sugar maple sapling here, I'm more cautious about where I step. I might step aside. There's a silent battle going on in that area where we've seen these foundational ecosystem members coming up in the understory, Jack and the Paul, but trilliums, uh, may apples. They were at battle with these invasive species. With a lot of invasives, their presence here changes the ecology of the system. So for example, autumn olive will actually change the nitrogen levels of the soil. It makes it so the invasives have competitive advantage. This was a field in the 60s, so I think it's amazing that nature's taking over, but it's like we want the native species to have the chance to thrive. We're gonna evaluate the area that they are surveying so we know what needs to be done to restore those systems to what they're supposed to be. When we started the field school, we started in the lab. They learned the archival stuff about what was going on, the archeology span that was going on. The reason why this was able to be created, this site, was because of the Treaty of Chicago and the fact that the indigenous people had to be removed from the land. We wanted to tell the students, like, it's, it doesn't start with the historic component, it starts with the indigenous presence that was removed from the landscapes. But it is important to look past the historic side to see both sides of the story. This land that we're on was populated by Native Americans. I do have Native American ancestry, not from this area, but it's kind of great to be able to reconnect with that aspect of who I am. It's really been awesome for this connection with Stephen to develop because the philosophies that we conveyed to the students, he's able to put them into terms that the anthropology, archeology span students can grasp. What we're trying to do is create those partnerships. When we develop the next field school, we'll hopefully have developed those relationships with communities to be like, what do you want? How can we do this together? Let's start at the plan A, where we're all at the table.